you can't go back to your place. And as much as I'd like to let you crash on the lap dance couch at the club, I think you should find a place to stay. I'm gonna text you an address of a lead I got. Swing by, see if you like it.
Tell the room to stop spinning, it's making me queasy. Miss Montello, you talked to Frank yet? Who? Oh yeah, uh, this is uh, a situation that requires some finesse. He lost a lot of money on you. 
Okay. We can protect you, kid, but uh, you're gonna have to work to earn that protection. Them's the rules. One of my earners named E-Man might be able to use you. Go find him. Are you E-Man? Sometimes, sure. Okay. So, sometimes not so much. So, depends upon your perspective, I guess. Right. Uh, Vera sent me. Excellent timing! For I have been attacked and fleeced by a dragon. A what? With several heads. Terribly fast, roaring in and out of nowhere on a board. Wheels. So much laughing. So you got jacked by a couple of skateboarders. Got it. Except you don't got it. They got it. They took the secret formula. The one and only scroll. If other alchemists make the potion, no money for the Yepris, you see? Ah, so they took, like, your formula for whatever it is you make. Precisely. I'm on it. No need to lag, drag. Come on, before I come off. Oh, oh boy. Hell, man, what are you on that makes you run so fast? This is your dragon? I was expecting someone with a little less acne. Hey, hey, little Joe, I think you got something of mine, something I really need back. Come on, you little punk. Hand over the formula, or drugs, or whatever, or my fists are gonna get creative with your face. Oh, shit! They didn't teach subtlety in big muscular man school, did they? Follow and take notes. The formula's getting away with the kid! Holy hookers! My mind is imploding and the world is on fire! Ooh, this formula is gonna be a hit! Come on! I'm hot on the scent! Dragons leave a wake of smoke and pixie dust! You all right? <sighs> Wish I could undo that sandwich that I did. Oh, I'm winded. I'll be faster without you. Go! Go! Fly! Don't let the dragon touch your jewel capsule! <clears throat> I could do this all day, little man. Stop chasing me! Leave me alone! <clears throat> Hold up, or I'm taking your lunch money! Stop chasing me! to see a kid go down like that. So, uh, you're the Empress's new muscle? Vera? Just while she helps me sort out some things with Frank Valiano. Frank? Those two are on speaking terms again? Did no hell had frozen over. What are you talking about? The Empress and Frank were always at each other's throats before the fall of Rome, and now in the twilight? <laughs> I have a hard time picturing them uh, sorting something out. Hang on, are you saying Vera lied to me? That she can't help me with Frank? I don't know your story, Muscle, but I do know that you wouldn't go running to St. Peter if you were looking to work something out with the devil. And now, I bid you good morrow. Thanks for the help. See you around.
this is no more as of next. That's what happened to Thrash Metal? It used to be everywhere, and then losing the store to make sure it disappeared. That's one viewpoint, but I think it's more complicated than that. I guess at its core, it's all about trends. Thrash Metal used to be a force to be reckoned with on the airwaves, until a combination of oversaturation and the hunger for the next big thing forced new artists to expand their horizons. You could say that it all went the way of folk or prog rock. It's all about the free market. time of day when I get to give away a couple free concert tickets. Today we've got two general admission passes to Rosie Palm and the Fast Five, playing this Friday night in the arena at La French Baguette Send Casino. The tenth caller is going to have to answer our trivia question Didn't of see the it. How'd it go with E-Man? He tells me you and Frank are like mortal enemies. Yeah, so? So how are you gonna help me smooth things over with your mortal enemy? There's not a problem in the world that money can't buy. Or, no, that's not right. You know what I mean. Money fixes everything. I don't have a lot of cash. I'm gonna help you out as a favor to your cousin. He was a loyal earner back in the day. Only thing is, a while back, I made the mistake of putting Karen in charge of my finances. Bratz got me on a tight leash. Which is exactly why I called in a favor from an old acquaintance, who just dropped off a briefcase full of green at an agreed-upon location. You go for me, pick up the money, then I can, uh, bring a little something to the negotiation table, Kabish. Fine, sure. this broadcast to bring you some breaking news. A police chase occurred in downtown Vegas earlier today when an errant driver, equipped with at least two automatic weapons, opened fire on police officers. Police formed a blockade, but no amount of force could stop this maniac. Witnesses were... Vera, I'm at the pickup spot, but uh, there's like a bunch of guys here. What? Ah, uh, must have gotten a tip off. You gotta get that money. But the last thing we want is unwanted attention. No bang bang is what I'm saying. You get me? Yeah, I got you. Hey! There he is! Take him down! I gotta go. Walk right into this one, chump! You cost me a lot of money, Milo. <laughs> Frank, when Frank says go down, you go down! Okay, got the package.
There should be a key right under it. Yep, found it. Vera, these guys knew who I was. They mentioned Frank. Nah. The arrangement I got with Frank involves him staying out of downtown. This associate of yours, how tight are you? You saying this was a setup? I don't know. These guys were expecting me. All due respect, man. You gonna be able to help me out or not? Kid, you're on Frank Villiano's bad side. If I can't help you out, no one can. Hey. Muscle, speaking of illegal underground street races... When were you talking about illegal underground street races? We're talking about them. Right now. Muscle, keep up. Honestly, I've signed us up for one. We could use some more income and winning equals profit. <laughs> you like driving fast and reckless, right? Sure. Excellent. Come meet me when you're ready to ride. upgrading your weapons. Sounds good. Three! Three! She's pretty. That, that looks like my wife. Wow. That is like very similar to what my wife looks like. Ooh. I like her. I like her design. I like the I like the animal ones. They're special and cute.
So this race you mentioned, when's it happening? Hop in, I'll tell you. Drive to this location. We have to meet Racer Girl. Who's Racer Girl? She's Racer Girl. Oh, gotcha. So, Muscle, what made you decide not to take a dive like Frank wanted you to? Nothing. Holston went down too easy. Hell, I wouldn't be surprised if someone paid him to take a dive. Huh. So, why stick around if Frank is out for your head? I, why not just leave Vegas? Go somewhere nice, like Reno. You don't run from a guy like Frank. Go to Bermuda, there's a cabana boy packing a submachine gun with your name on it. And besides, fuck him. Now you're talking. F him in the A. Better if I had some of your bitches, Brew. A new batch will be ready tomorrow, my sweet. That's what I like to hear. Who's your friend? Jason, meet Racer Girl. Racer Girl, Jason, a new driver. Sweet. Hope you can keep up. You driving too, E? No, just along for the ride. Then hop in. Show's about to start. like you could really handle some dangerous curves. <laughs> I can handle anything you throw at me. Good to know. There's always other races going on in Vegas, you know. If you find yourself strapped for cash, hit one up. Yeah, I might do that. See you around.
It's Karen. You free? I was gonna go to the club. Need to talk to Vera about something. Well, when you get a chance, come see me. Could use some help with something, okay? Hey, uh, this E-Man guy said that... Karen? Yeah, no, it's only...